What's up guys? How are you doing? Hope you are feeling great today. And welcome to my YouTube channel, Jan Delicio Vlog. For those who are not yet subscribing, please do subscribe now and hit the notification bell for you to get updated to my latest videos. For today's content guys, as part of my requisite in organic chemistry subject, we will be creating a ball and stick models of alkanes using various materials found in home. Let's go! But before we proceed to the actual making of models, it is important for you guys to know first what are these alkanes. Here is Natoms to explain us what are these alkanes. Please watch. Let's talk about three common types of molecules. Alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. What are these things? Well, the alkanes are pretty simple. They are molecules that are just made of two elements. We have carbon and hydrogen. So the simplest alkane we can make is a carbon bonded to four hydrogen atoms. That gives you methane. Meth basically meaning one, and ane is the ending for all of the alkanes. Methane. This is what comes out of your stove when you're cooking. This is natural gas. What if we add another carbon and we complete this molecule with more hydrogens? Well, we've got two carbons now, and so that would be F is the uh, root of that word and the ending again ane. So this is ethane. Ethane. Let's add one more carbon. Now we've got three carbons and how many hydrogens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you were to write down the molecular formula for this, it would be C3H8. And if you have three carbons, then the start of the, the word for this molecule is prop. So we have propane. This is what you would use when you're cooking in your barbecue. You can see that a lot of alkanes are used for fuels. For example, we add one more uh, carbon, then we have four total carbons, and the uh, way to name this is but for the four carbons, and then ane because it only has uh, hydrogens bonded around this. So this is butane. You might be familiar with a butane lighter. Let's uh, make another fun alkane. I'm just going to extend this carbon chain out to eight. So we have eight uh, carbons now. What would that be called? Eight is often oct. So now we have formed, when I finish off all the hydrogens, octane. And this is one of the most important molecules in gasoline. So this is what would fuel your car. Octane. Plus a mixture of other things. What's interesting to notice about these uh, alkanes is that because they're all single bonds, I missed one. Because they're all single bonds, there's a lot of rotation which is possible. So these molecules are really quite flexible and they'd be jiggling around and moving all around in these different configurations. In fact, one of my favorite uh, molecules to make is uh, hexane. So right now we have hexane for one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms. And you can actually form this around into a loop to make a, a ring of carbons containing six carbon atoms. Let's see if I can do that. Perfect. And this is now called cyclohexane. Cyclo because it makes a little cyclic ring. And hexane because there are one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. That is cyclohexane. So those are the alkanes, simply made of a carbon and hydrogen. All right. Now you have the know-how about alkanes. It's about time to show you this. The four alkanes I made. The unbranched alkanes, namely hexane and octane, and the branched alkanes, namely isopentane or 2-methylbutane and neopentane or 2-2-dimethylpropane. Hexane. 
Hexane is an unbranched alkane with six carbon atoms, the color green balls, attached with 14 hydrogen atoms, the color red balls. Hexane chemical formula is C6H14. Hexanes are used in making of blues for shoes, leather products, and roofings. Octane. Octane is an unbranched alkane with 8 carbon atoms and 18 hydrogen atoms. Chemical formula is C8H18. Octane is an important component in our gasoline. Isopentane. Isopentane is a branch alkane having 5 carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms or C5H12. It is also called 2-methylbutane because the parent chain or the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms is 4. And 4 carbon chain is a butane. 2-methyl because the alkyl group called methyl or CH3 branch on the second carbon of parent chain. Isopentane is a colorless liquid with an alcohol or gasoline-like odor. It is used as a solvent and as a blowing agent in making plastics. Neopentane Neopentane is a branch alkane also having 5 carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms or C5H12. It is also known as 2,2-dimethylpropane because the parent chain or the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms is 3. Therefore, it is a propane. 2,2-dimethyl because prefix di means 2 or it has 2-methyl CH3 branch on the second carbon of parent chain. Neopentane is used as a gasoline blending agent and for making butyl rubber. Now guys, since you've already saw my self-made ball and stick models of different alkanes, let me show you how it was made. The materials I've used were styro balls, cutting and trimming tools, paints and paintbrush, bamboo for sticks, wood for stand, and other working tools like saw, ruler, and bolo. Firstly, I cut the big styro balls into hobs and hobs, so I would obtain smaller pieces that I later on trim to create small and medium-sized balls. Small balls for hydrogen atoms and medium-sized for carbon atoms. Then, I painted these balls according to color coding, green for carbon atoms and red for hydrogen atoms. Next thing I did was the making of sticks out of bamboo. Afterwards, I skewed the painted balls using those sticks to form the alkane models. I painted the sticks accordingly to color coding. I let it dry after a few minutes, and while drying, I made stands for each model utilizing woods. Final thing I did was applying finishing touches, which are the labels on each model. Alright, you've already seen the making process of those alkane ball and stick models. And with that, I think it's about time to bid farewell. Hope you learned something on this video. Please keep watching on my upcoming videos. And please don't forget to subscribe, especially for those who are not yet subscribing. And hit the notification bell. Please like and share this video and you could comment down below your thoughts and insights about this video and even have some suggestions of good contents for my next video. Again, thank you guys for viewing and stay safe always. Goodbye!